Hello YouTube, it's Katie Nolan in review. Today we are going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. Now, I wish that there was something out there that I felt passionately enough about to talk about for the entirety of this chit chat, get ready with me, but there is nothing. I've looked, I've tried, I've searched the interwebs, and I can't find anything I care about enough to focus on one topic. So, what we're doing is a bit of a mini tea, I'm still in that term from Angelica. We're doing a bit of a mini tea today where I'm going to be talking about a lot of different things while doing my makeup. Now, the thing about a chit chat, get ready with me, is it's normally like, oh, I'm getting ready to go to the club, I'm getting ready to go to school, I'm getting ready to go to. It's always a bee outside my window. I'm getting ready to go to date night, I'm getting ready to, to, to like be somewhere. I'm not. I'm getting ready to sit up in this house and not do a gosh diggity darn thing. I have just been fiending to do my makeup. This I've just been feeding to do my makeup for the past two weeks, and I figured, well, why not do it? I'm not very good at doing my makeup, so I'm also using this as an opportunity to try out new things and get better. I'm going to be trying a cut crease today, which I've tried twice and failed twice. I'm also going to be trying to put on fake eyelashes, which I've tried twice and failed twice. Why are my eyebrows like this? This right here. This little palette right here with the title almost completely scrubbed off. This has been my holy grail since I started doing makeup. It is the Beauty Treats Modern Matte Eyeshadow Palette from 5 and below. This was, I think, $3 or $4.99. 4 or $5 for this little, this little lady right here. And what this kit does for me is it has not one, not two, but three browns that are dark enough for my skin, a black that doesn't look ridiculous, and these reds and these purples which are kind of ashy but still kind of useful. The rest of it is worthless. The rest of the palette is useless. But you know how hard it is to find browns that are darker than my skin? Well, nowadays it's not as hard, but you know how hard it was in 2015, girl. They had me looking at five and below. It was ridiculous. Those, those were trying times. That was the ghetto. <laughs> Ooh, Chile, the ghetto. That was me trying to buy makeup in 2015. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows with this palette. I use a mixture of this brown and this brown to get my eye eyebrow shade. I also have an eyebrow pencil, but it comes out more natural looking. It's the brow something by Ciate. It's their only brow pencil. It comes out more naturally looking when I use it, and I'm trying to go full glam right now. So I'm gonna use this. I also don't know if you're supposed to line with concealer or do powder first. I'm choosing to do the powder first, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be. Again, I'm not good at makeup. I just think it's fun. So then, let's discuss Mulan. That's our first topic of discussion tonight. On my channel, there is a review of the live action Lion King, live action Lion King movie that came out in 2019, I think. So I do have that on my channel. It's one of my more popular videos, so I think people like how I did it. Please go check it out if you want to know my general opinions on the Disney live action remakes. But there are two that I'm like, okay, maybe I can give this a chance. One of them was Maleficent, which I did in fact like the first Maleficent. Most people hated it, but I liked it. And that's probably because I didn't like Sleeping Beauty and I thought it was really, really boring. A lot of people didn't like Maleficent because they're like, it ruined this scary villain from Sleeping Beauty. But I never cared, so Maleficent worked for me. So. One of them that I give a chance is the Maleficent series, because it's different, it's unique. They did something new. Another one that I like to give a chance, or that I would like to give a chance, is Mulan. I'm going to move into doing um, concealer around my eyebrows using the Allie Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fun. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's... Okay. Um, so, Mulan. It's a new, it's a change on Disney's currently existing Mulan story. So I am willing to give it a chance based almost entirely off of that. Well, one thing is that it's not coming out. It was supposed to come out March 27th, but we all know why that didn't release in theaters and why I'm probably not going to see it for a hot minute, even though some other movies have released online. I guess Disney said, no, we want our coins, we want you to go to the theaters, sit your butt in a seat. I don't know, it might be on Disney Plus, but we stopped our subscription for that last month um, because we didn't, you know, we didn't have a magical oracle, we couldn't see it into the future. 
we didn't know how bored we would be, and we had already rewatched everything we needed to rewatch. So we stopped our Disney Plus subscription, and now look at us looking like fools with nothing to do. And T way, I was willing to, you know, go and see it, see what it was going to be about, since it was going to be different, you know, even the rating, even the rating was different. It was rated PG thirteen. It was supposed to be dark and gritty and tell the true story of Mulan. So I was interested in seeing where Disney would go with it. How ever. However, I need to stop moving my eyebrows so I can blend them. However, Disney recently announced that they are cutting, not recently, I don't know when they announced this, but I heard of it recently, that they are cutting Shang, the character, from the movie, which is, it would have been okay. You know, they already cut Mushu and the singing, so it's like you're cutting Shang. All right, why are you cutting Shang? What are you planning to do instead of have Shang? Well, they're not just removing the romantic interest because they want Mulan to focus on, you know, saving China. That's not what they're doing. What they're doing is they're giving her a different romantic interest character who isn't her super loyal officer. Because they think that Shang brings up um, an issue with the Me Too movement and that basically someone dating their office superior is problematic. Now, on Disney's point, I understand where they're coming from. Someone dating their office superior can be problematic. It's not a completely baseless claim. Like, it, it makes some iota of sense. So I'm like, okay, I get it. These brows are very chiseled. Are they chiseled into the right shape? I don't really know. But they're chiseled into something. Anyways, <laughs> being problematic is, it, it's, it's, it's there. It's there. We've seen, basically, the idea is that if you're dating someone who's superior to you and has power over you, be it that you're a normal person and they're a celebrity, or you're the employee and they're the boss, or you're the subordinate and they're the superior officer in the military or in every, any other kind of situation, student and teacher, so on and so forth, that it presents a power imbalance in the relationship. I'm using the e.l.f. poreless primer. That it this is my first time noticing that this stuff has a scent, but it pre presents an imbalance in the relationship and it can kind of lead to one party being manipulated by the other emotionally and, you know, just a lack of, a lack of safety, a lack of insurance, a lack of comfort in the relationship. I talk too much when I'm trying to do two things at once. Disney, I get where you're coming from, and this would have been a fine thing to do had someone complained, had anyone said anything about Shane, but no one did. No one was upset about Shane being with Mulan. Nobody... Did y'all hear somebody say something? Because I didn't. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me, obviously, in 362 Truffle and in 368 Deep Golden. I like to mix them and create what's probably 364 and what I probably should have just bought, but anyway. <laughs> so, basically people are complaining that, sh not complaining, basically Disney has cut Shang because they think that he uh, might present problems for the Me Too movement and he might create a bad PR moment. And I'm like, okay, I get it, trying to protect your PR, but let's talk about why that's not true and why I think this is super stupid. Um, first of all, Right? Disney sells to China. Disney is one of China's big markets. And in China, unfortunately, it is not okay to be gay. That is not something that China is going to have you doing just, you know, chill. And everybody in society is going to be lax about it. That's not something that China likes. So because Disney's big market is China, especially for a Chinese movie, um, especially like a redemption arc, because China didn't really like the first Mulan because it just wasn't true to the story. It it would behoove Disney to make something that China will enjoy and go see and they can make their Chinese dollars. Right? You following me? So. Since it's not okay to be gay in China, we can assume that Shang is not going to be a bisexual character because that's not going to sell. Right? If Shang is straight, based off of the story that I know, you know, it might be a little changed, a little toot that thing up, flip it, and reverse it in the new version, but based off the story that I know, 
Mulan, and it, Shang is not going to know Mulan, it's female, until three quarters of the way into the movie. Until basically the end. So he's really not even going to have a lot of time to emotionally manipulate her. And even if he knew from the start, they're in the middle of a war. Like, I feel like he might have bigger fish to fry than worrying about manipulating Mulan. Maybe that's just me. Manipulators do go quite low. But I just feel like Shang is going to have other priorities. What do y'all think? This is a lot of foundation, isn't it? I'm going to start blending. I'm going to see where we go with this. So number one, Shang isn't going to know that Mulan is a woman and therefore eligible for his emotional manipulation as his, um, not superior, his, like, inferior, I guess, his beneath her. I don't know that, like, reverse word for that, but he's the superior, so he's not really going to think of emotionally manipulating her until he knows that she is a her, which isn't really until the end, and then he has, like, a day. I don't know how much he can get accomplished in a day. I really don't. So there's issue number one. Issue number two is that their relationship was always consenting. Just because one person is superior to another doesn't mean that your relationship can never happen. It doesn't mean that if your relationship does happen, it's automatically an abusive relationship. You can have a relationship with your superior. You can have a relationship with your superior that is totally legal and comfortable for both parties to be a part of. No one can be manipulated, no one can feel any kind of way, everyone can just have a fun, romantic time. <sighs> My forehead is looking weird. I'm gonna need you to watch out. I need my mirror. Okay, it looks a lot weirder. A lot more weird. Yeah, it, it looks a lot more weird on camera than it does in person. So if y'all are looking like, ooh, child, ghetto, please know that in person, I did a very good job. <laughs> I'm gonna try and fix these brows, though, because they really do look weird on camera. Just, just give me a second. I can't have a functioning relationship, even if Shane is his superior. Like, that's not automatically a bad thing. Next issue I have with this is that I would argue Mulan is Shang's superior. Um, by the end of the movie, Mulan has single-handedly saved China, and then she receives a Medal of Honor from the Emperor. I don't know, man. Like, being a general is cute and everything, but my girl just got a Medal of Honor. <laughs> I don't know if Shang really trumps her anymore. I kind of think Mulan has taken the cake at that point. And if I was Mulan's parents, you would have to convince me to let her date Chang. I'd be like, my brother's got a medal of honor. Where the prince at? Do they have princes? Where the emperor's son? Where is, um, where are the other people with the other medals of honor? Like, you a war general, that's real cute. I'm gonna need to see some more accolades from you because oh, I just ran out of memory space after not even 15 minutes of recording. A and B, tell me why my eye choose right now to hurt. Anyways, Shang, he is a general. Like, at the start of the movie, he is Mulan's superior, absolutely. But by the time he finds out Mulan is a woman, it only takes another couple of days for her to become his superior. So we're canceling this relationship because Shang is superior to Mulan. But, like, is he... Is he really, though? Because I don't think he is. I kind of think Mulan has won up to him with her Medal of Honor. And I also feel like Shang was kind of... He served a purpose in the movie the way that women usually serve a purpose in a man's movie. Like, Shang... Oof, what am I trying to say? Like, Lois Lane... Or if we look at, what's her name? Mary Jane. Like the, the superhero girls. The girls that the superheroes are pining after. They usually don't do anything. They usually don't really have much of a personality. Minus like one or two archetypes. They usually don't accomplish much. They're usually just there to make the superhero guy look better. Because it's like, ooh, he got the girl. He must have good qualities if he was able to get the girl. He must be cute. He must be nice to her. He must be funny. He must have 
really succeed in today because he got the girl. I feel like Shang is that for Mulan. He is not there to be his own character. He is there to make Mulan look better. And I feel like reversing that role, if you will, and having a male character who really doesn't have much, much to him but a couple of archetypes and really doesn't do much but make the other character, you know, our main hero, look good. Shang still does quite a bit. He still does. And he does have a personality. But as close as we can get to that for a female character, I feel like that's a very feminist moment. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like that's saying something. So to completely cut that out for the sake of the Me Too movement, Me Too is kind of a woman's movement. I feel like it would be a woman's moment to have the girl finish her movie and get the guy who was really only there to be the guy that she got. Yes, he trained her and was like the leader of the pack or whatever, but like what? And then they, they're changing it to make give Mulan a regular guy as her <laughs> Did y'all see this confused like, just squirt? my eye. They're changing the story in such a way that Mulan will get now with a regular soldier guy who was on the same level as her at the start of the movie and that's going to be her romantic interest. And I'm like, no, I would rather she get the Shang. Because it kind of proves her worth. Like, she can get this guy who is successful and she deserves the guy who is successful and who is the military general because if we're looking at the time period, even still to this day, people do this, but like, especially at the time period, marrying for status is important. Marrying for status illustrates your own status. So why are we lowering Mulan's status? You know what I'm saying? So there's just my little 25 cents on the Mulan situation. Like I said at the start, I am attempting a cut crease, which is something I am not good at. I'm using the Morphe 35L palettes and nothing, <clears throat> and nothing else. So. I don't even have a plan. I don't even have a game plan. I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, this is, I guess I should tell you what brushes I used to. That was a Rule Technique sponge that you just saw me do my face with. This brush I got in Ipsy, so I don't really know what it is. It's very middle of the palette. Recent. I didn't put any eyeshadow primer because, again, I'm not going anywhere and it's already creasing. <laughs> I just put the foundation and powder. But that wasn't good enough. I always need eyeshadow primer because my junk creases like no other. So I'm just focusing this on the outer uh, corner, the outer corner, so that I can have a good cut. Or so that I can have a good amount of space left to cut. So I'm just going to heavily apply this on the outer corner. What else can we talk about? Um, as per usual, as per usual. What's her face? T, there's a T. Trisha Paytas is doing mess yet again. Mess. And I don't want you, I, listen, listen, listen. Enough people have talked about this video and reviewed this video that we are at a point where you don't have to watch Trisha Paytas' content. Please don't. You're just gonna give her money. Her video is monetized. You're just gonna give her money for, for participating in mess. And who wants to give people money for being bad? Who does? I don't. Maybe you do, but it's not really in my MO. So I advise you just watch somebody's review of her video where they put like actual inserts of the video. There's a little blonde girl who did it or a dissociate DID, not this talked about it. And the reason why I point out that it's dissociate DID is because Trisha refers to her as dissociate did. What does the DID stand for? Dissociative identity disorder. That was something that Trisha was claiming to have in her video. So in her video, she's claiming to have this disorder, and then when she sees the commonly used acronym for the disorder, she doesn't know what it is. That's very interesting. Um, that's how I feel about this whole thing. That's very interesting. That little sentence pretty much sums up my feelings about Trisha doing this. I feel like she's just a mess. And um, that's very interesting. I hope nobody is actually buying into the mess. Because she always does this. She has come out as transgender and that was mess. She's come out as a chicken nugget and that was mess. She said political things that were mess. All she does is create mess. Just create mess because she's bored. Because she's bored, she has no attention. Her bank account looks a little dry some months. So she feels like she needs to do this. But here's what I have to say about it. Trisha, baby girl, listen to me, Trisha. This is for you. This is for you. You don't have to do this to people. You don't have to 
make fun of people. You don't have to destroy um, entire communities that are just trying to build support for themselves. You don't have to do it. All you have to do is show your boobs. Just make some more porn content. You've been doing it for years. Just keep doing it. Porn makes sex sells, Trisha. If you if your bank account is just looking that dry, you really just need some attention, you're just that bored, just make some sex content. You already do. Just do more. Just do more. Because y'all, she already does this. It's not like a ethics code thing for her. She's already doing it. So just keep doing it. I ran out of camera space again, which is so strange. I can only record 45 minute videos with no problem, but this is just giving me trouble. I'm going to cut the crease now. I mean, I kind of already look like a raccoon, so if I mess this up, I mean, can it get much worse? Number one tip when cutting the crease, don't blink 45 times like I just did. I ended up doing half cut creases because that's in style right now. Um, looks a little ridiculous. Anyways, Trisha, you don't have to do this. You just shake your ass, shh, pop that pussy make your money your usual way you don't have to like i understand the bank account is it'd be dry sometimes and you'd be like how can i quickly collect some coins and pay these bills there were other ways you did not have to abuse people you didn't you didn't i'm gonna cover my crease now with orange because top corner of the palette because i really don't know what i'm doing i'm just gonna do whatever comes to mind first you feel me? That was not good. I really can't see my viewfinder. There's no point in looking at it because when I look at it, it's not like I'm looking at you. So what 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 am I accomplishing? <laughs> um, I'm gonna do this orange, which I'm gonna blend backwards because this is a half cut crease, and then I'm gonna go in with glitter. And by the time I do all of that, it's just not gonna look like a cut crease anymore. Now I'm gonna wonder how I ended up in this situation, and I'm not going to have an answer for you. So let's move on to the next topic of absolute messiness. Next, we're, I already forgot what I was going to talk about next. Oops. Oh, these celebrities. Next, we're going to drag these celebrities. What are y'all doing? It, there's glass spots at my window. Ooh. It was one thing to start doing it. It was one thing to start to be a celebrity, be bored, not really know what to do with yourself, and to say, I'm going to hop on the Big Blue app. I'm going to hop on Twitter, and I'm going to make some mess. It was one thing to do that. It was another thing to keep doing it after we told y'all to stop. We told you very clearly, multiple times, on multi more than one occasion. What is wrong with this eye? My left eye is just like going through it today. We told y'all on multiple occasions, unless you're going to donate money, unless you're asking for cash apps, unless you're asking which um, hospital should you pick, unless you're asking what charity is doing the most in this trying time for not only our nation, but the world, unless that's what you're going to do, shut up, hush, quiet. No one wants to hear it. No one cares that you're bored. Because guess what? We're all in quarantine. We're all in quarantine and you're a millionaire. So how are you bored? How are you bored? You could pay someone to go get you whatever you want. Hey, um, can you go to the store and buy us um, Animal Crossing for Switch and Switches? Can you buy us a Nintendo so that we can play Mario Party? Can you uh, get us some board games, some books? Could you please just get us everything under the sun? You you can do that. You have access. We don't have access. If I want to play Animal Crossing right now, I have to pay, let's see, $210 to do it because I don't have a Switch. And I'm guessing a Switch is $150. Maybe that's, maybe that's very incorrect. But I'm going to have to pay a good chunk of money that I don't have because I can't even pay my bills right now because I haven't worked in six weeks. So I really don't want to hear these celebs coming on Talking about how bored they are, how they have nothing to do, singing us songs. <laughs> Childless makeup is terrible. Singing us songs, doing things no one asked them to do. Because guess what? People's bills are unpaid. People are dying. 
My mother, healthcare professional. Does she have a mask to wear at work? No. You, like, there has never been a time where it's been more clear that celebrities do not live on the same planet as us. They clearly don't. Because how can you be this unaware? How can you be this far removed from everything that is happening? This is very old. So I know that this brand is canceled. So I'm not even going to say the brand. I'm just going to say I'm using the tattoo liner. This is very old. And I didn't buy it with my own money. I got it from Ipsy. So I know this brand is canceled, but I own it. So I'm just, I mean, I'm just going to let it go to waste. Um, all my other liners are starting to dry up. Because I bought them all around the same time. So we're just going to have to do what we can. Ooh. Do I like this? It's very dark. Okay, all this is nice. Um, is my line nice? No, but the product, I don't know. Like, she kind of want to do something. I, I don't know, Catherine, <sighs> Catalina. I don't know her name. Um, <laughs> I don't know what cat stands for. Kathy. Um, where were we? We were talking about the celebrities. You don't have to donate. You really don't because it's your money. You made it. You can spend it however you want to. You can sit there and have millions of dollars just sit in your bank account and not do anything while people are dying, while bills are going unpaid. Uh, the homeless. What are the homeless doing right now other than getting sick and dying on the street? Like, they were always doing that, but, like, it's so much worse now, I have to imagine. And no one's really discussing the homeless. And I think about them a lot. I'm like... Where are they gonna go? They can't quarantine away from nothing. They live outside. So, <laughs> I'm just like, people are dying. Y'all really don't seem to get it. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. I am so bad at eyeliner. Clearly, this is another thing I need to do off camera. This side's eyeliner always looks better. Every single time without fail. Look at them. Tell me which side looks better. It's easy. It's this side. Anyways. <laughs> they, they're just the celebrities. They're just so unaware. So I only film five minute videos. I have a memory space for both. But every five minutes it's like, no, you gotta stop. Anyways. They're so unaware of themselves. They're so unaware of everyone else. They just. Like I said, it's your money. You made it. You don't have to donate. If you want to sit there with millions of dollars in your bank account and not give those dollars to anyone else who might need them, fine. What am I going to do? Bust your door down? I don't think so. I don't have time for that. I ain't going outside for you. You can do what I, I didn't set my eyebrows with gel, but again, I'm not going anywhere, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm using the, obviously, True Complexion Black Radiance Contour Palette. I got the dark to deep. I probably could have gotten medium to dark and would have been just fine. But this one works for me as well. So, whatever. Anyways. They don't have to donate. Like, we're trying to force them to donate, but they really don't have to. They can do whatever they want. If they want to sit at home and hoard their wealth, they can do that. Because they made the money. They made the money. And unless we're going to allow the government to take money from everyone... Well, that's not true. They made the money. They have no obligation to us or to Red Cross or to Syria. They had none of it. They don't have to donate a single cent to that coin. So I'm like, if you're not going to donate, if you're not going to help, go away. Get lost. No one wants to hear about how you're bored. Don't come on live and ask me what you should do to keep your kids active. I don't know. You're a millionaire. Build an indoor track or something. My kids, I don't have any kids, but if I did, they would be inactive and they would be screwed because I don't have millions of dollars to fix all of my problems. You do. You do. And we all know you do. So stop it. Because if you get sick, guess what? You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. If you're not fine, you're, an, you're an anomaly. You're an outlier. If you're rich, and you'd still die an untimely death. You're an outlier. But most of you are going to be fine. So I don't want to hear about how this is such a hard, trying time for you. And also, and also, <laughs> some of the stuff they've been saying doesn't even make any sense. Like y'all, who is it? Who posted this? Sia, maybe? I don't know who. I don't want to blame Sia. But somebody posted a picture on Twitter on the Big Blue app 
of a of a of a a picture of the word virus, right? V R I U S. In this picture, the letters V R I were crossed out, so that all that was left was U S. And their caption for this picture was us, and then a heart emoji. Y'all tell me what in the world that is supposed to mean. What does that do for me? Did it pay my bills? It didn't. It didn't. Did it cure my did it cure my friends and family? It didn't. Did it give my mom gloves and masks at work? It did not. What did that do? Tell me what that did. Tell me what it did for you. I'll wait. I'll wait. Take your time, figure it out. Tell me what that did for you. Because I'll tell you what it did for me, nothing. And on top of doing nothing, it doesn't make sense. Because to highlight the us, like I get, sort of, is she's going for like unity and like, we're all in this together, except we're not, because I am a millionaire, but whatever. So I get the whole like unity situation. I get it. But it's like, baby girl, no. Because you've highlighted the us. It's like saying we put the us in virus. Us. The U.S. We have the virus up in the U.S. of A. It's like highlighting that we have the virus. You, you're doing the opposite of what you tried to do there. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense and it's laughable but it doesn't make sense. And it's also like, what did that do for me? I could have posted that and that would have been fun. I could have posted that and that would have been cute. That would have been a nice 13-year-old um, Tumblr moment. I could have. I could have because I don't have millions of dollars. There's not really much else I could do. But when you have millions of dollars, I don't want to hear your mess. I don't want to see your posts of you learning how to spell. I, child, <laughs> these celebrities are doing too much. And I have had Twitter installed for two days. I uninstalled Twitter in December. I've been on Twitter for 30 seconds and I'm okay. I don't normally contour my nose, but I don't hate this. Like, I usually think it looks stupid, but I don't hate this. I also don't normally wear blush because I'm a dark skinned black woman and we don't blush, so wearing blush always felt dumb to me. But I'm gonna do it. What I'm using for blush is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 40 Berry Boost. The reason I'm using this is because it's not a matte liquid lipstick at all. And since it's not what I want it to be, but I already bought it, I may as well use it as something else. So since I don't own many blushes, the only ones I own are the ones I got from Ipsy that are not the right shade for me. Because I don't own blush, I just use this as blush on days when I'm like, let me conform. Let me put on blush and see what the girlies are talking about. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think these celebrities just need to hit up their PR teams. I've noticed... I've noticed. I don't. I haven't noticed this because I don't know what these people be doing. But I have a theory that ever since Donald came into office, and the celebrities saw, oh, he has no PR team, but he's president. They just fired their whole PR team. They got their. They grabbed their publicist and said, "Girl, goodbye." They just said, "Forget it all." Because if Donald can do it, I can do it. I can post whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. And I'm like, "Girl, no," because look at you now. You look foolish. You look silly. <laughs> virus but you cross out the vri the u.s sure puts the us in virus we have the virus like girl i am i the only one that saw that and was like what are you talking about <laughs> child these celebrities are doing so much i do still apply my highlighter with a fan brush i'm not good at makeup so i don't really keep up with the updates that's why i'm using an old palette to do my eyes old liner to do my lining I'm gonna use an old lipstick when we get there. Everything is old because I just, I had my makeup phase in like 2016 or 17 or something. And I never went back. I never bought any more because I never needed to. I got what I got. I was happy with what I got. And then I went home. I just, I stopped buying makeup. <laughs> I had an Ipsy subscription for like a year. And then I lost my job. Well, I quit my job. I quit my job. Had to cancel Ipsy because I didn't have any money. And I just haven't gotten it back because I'm like, I have a bunch of makeup that I don't use. Why would I get another, you know what I'm saying? This that I'm adding for extra highlight because I am extra is the Naked, Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter in 
the shade, the non-ashy one. And um, I'm putting on a little bit extra, again, I'm extra. Highlighter has always been my step. Right on the cheek bone with a foundation brush to get that, I can't see, to get that heavy concentration. 64, no repeats or hesitation. I also do this on the brow bone. I might do the tip of the nose. I'm not gonna do it today. My nose looks big today. I don't know why. Because I contoured it, it should look small, but it looks big. I don't ever think my nose is big except for when I do my makeup. I must not be good at this. Um, and I always, 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 always have to get the Cuba's bow highlight because go these lips. These lips are about to snatch your wig. Snatch it right from off your face. Snatch. I mean your head. Your head. Um Anyways, <laughs> now I'm going to try to put on false lashes, which is something I have not tried to do in maybe six months, and when I tried it, I failed. So I'm going to try to put on false lashes, and we're going to pray for me. I am using uh, these lashes that I got from the hair store. They were dollar or so. They're by La Faire. I'm using the V199. They're very large, and they're very in charge, and... This eyeliner is so good, so if I could get these lashes on, like, we will be living. We will be living. If not, I can always do mascara. I do have long eyelashes, so the mascara tends to make it look good. But, um, I'm hoping I can get these on. Hoping and praying, child. <laughs> Chicken seat up close. These lashes are poorly applied. You can clearly see the line between them. They don't look good. But if you only look at me from afar, they look like something. I can see them in my peripheral. So if I'm just looking like not in the right direction, that's because I'm really not used to this. I normally don't do this. But finally, we're going to do lips. Because I am not going anywhere today, it's the perfect time to pull out a matte liquid lip because I don't have to deal with it all day. So we're wearing the Tarte. Uh, Tartius lip paint again. All my makeup is years old. Um, I'm actually going to do a throwing out my lips video because using old lipsticks makes my lips burn. So this is going to be the last time until that video that my lips burn. This is in the shade Frye. It's a deep dark purple, which was kind of hard for me to find in 20, you know, 16. I was dealing with a lot of mauve and I was like, no girl, I want dark. I need pigment. And I happened to cross this bad boy. I'm currently in my brain remembering- oh god, these lashes. Job. I'm remembering how difficult matte liquid lips are to take off. This is the Profusion Matte Liquid Lip Cream in the shade Nude or something, I don't know. I'm just remembering how hard these are to take off and I- Y'all remember when there was that one that was going around that was like, oh, this is impossible to take off. It only comes off with our special substance, makeup remover, Soap, water, oil, whatever you use, it won't come off. And the girlies are actually dying. I was like, girl, this tight stuff is hard enough to take off. I like how my lips look. I do not need new lips. I do not need a lip transplant. Like, I would like my lip products to come off when I'm done with them. Good job. And then mixing liquid lips, so difficult. Because they dry. And then it's like, well, shoot. Oh, child, the ghetto. <laughs> the ghetto. I want it to be complex with this lip look because, again, I'm not going anywhere. So if my lips feel like they've been through a cement roller, it's okay. Because I don't got to take them anywhere. So I took the whole lip off because I was going to do it again. But then I saw this early LA Girls brown here and I was like, oh, wait. I remember that lip. This is another lip that I don't wear frequently because when I first wore it, my mom saw me in it and she was like, that is way too dark. You can't wear it anywhere. You're going to look crazy. And then I just never wore it because I was like, I'm, I'm going to look crazy. <laughs> I don't think it looks bad, but I'm still very cautious about it whenever I put it on. And right now, I keep looking in this look, looking in this viewfinder saying yes to myself like, do I look crazy? <laughs> what do y'all think? Let me know that in the comments below how we feel. How we <laughs> how we feel about this dark brown? I am just re-highlighting that cubist bow. 
because like I told y'all, I always have to have this. It's important. And when I have to redo my lips, I kind of completely screw it up. And I have decided to highlight my nose. It looks big, but we love our nose. So I don't know who we are. I'm, I'm not. Child. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, thank you so much for sitting through this video with me. I hope that you were entertained. I hope that you are not bothered by eyelashes that you can see in your periphery that aren't even well applied. I hope you appreciate that line of eyeliner. This one, we can forget about that one. But the other one, I hope you appreciate her. Notice I didn't set with setting spray. I didn't set with powder. I, I'm not going anywhere, darling. We're in quarantine. Where am I go? Where am I go? I, I could go to Kroger looking like this. I can get some groceries. Other than that, where I'm gonna go? So I'm gonna take some Instagram photos. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. And until then, to the Thank you.